Sea, located on the east coast of the Eurasian continent. It is also located between the Korean Peninsula and the Japanese archipelago. It has been called the East Sea by Koreans for thousands of years. The sun rises out of the East Sea to start each new day for the Korean people. The East Sea is not just a name. It is a vast body of water that has embraced the Korean people and their country from the beginning. Over the past 100 years, however, the name East Sea has gradually disappeared from world maps. It did not just fade away on its own. It was intentionally erased by an outside force. The International Hydrographic Organization, IHO, based in Monaco, is the official body that sets the standards for maps of the seas around the world. Preparing for a new edition of the limits of oceans and seas for the first time in 50 years, the IHO distributed copies of the final draft to its members in 2002. However, two pages were left blank. They were the pages for the name of the sea, which is located on the east side of the Eurasian continent. The IHO explained that the two pages were left blank because Korea and Japan had failed to reach an agreement on the name of the sea. While Japan claims that the use of the name Sea of Japan should be continued, Korea asserts that the name should be corrected to East Sea. So the IHO decided to leave the two pages blank until the two countries agree to a single name. Which name is correct? East Sea or Sea of Japan? In August 2002, the Japanese Ministry of Foreign Affairs published a pamphlet explaining why the sea must be named Sea of Japan instead of East Sea. The key point of Japan's claim is that the name Sea of Japan is already widely used around the world. Japanese scholars assert that the name should not be changed when it is in general use. How did this sea on the east coast of the Eurasian continent become widely known as the Sea of Japan? 1929년에 이 세계의 그 바다의 명칭을 이렇게 이렇게 정하자라고 그 표준화된 그 지명 그 지명을 정한단 말이죠. 그때의 어떤 그이그 어 우리나라 대표는 전혀 참여할 수 없는 거죠. 그그 그 당시 우리나라 주권이 없으니까 그 일본 대표만 참여하니까 당연히 그 동해라는 논의조차 되지 않고. 일본에라고 그냥 굳어지고 그 세계적인 기구에서 표준 명칭을 정했기 때문에 그 명칭대로 따라서 그 지도가 제작되고 다른 모든 세계의 나라들이 그 명칭을 쓴다는 건 당연한 거죠. After its victory in the Russo-Japanese War in 1905, Japan forcefully annexed the Korean Peninsula. <목소리> 1919, when Korea was still occupied by the Japanese, delegates of 18 maritime powers, including the United States, Britain, France, and Japan, gathered in London at the International Hydrographic Conference and discussed how to unify the names of oceans. In the Limits of Oceans and Seas, published by the IHO in 1929, after discussions among the members, the sea between the Korean Peninsula and the Japanese archipelago was identified as the Sea of Japan. Since then, the name East Sea has gradually disappeared from maps around the world. At that time, we didn't have the right to use it. We didn't have the right to use it as a way to use it. In that sense, the Japanese were the representative of the IHO and the government of the IHO. They were the representative of the IHO and the government of the IHO. They were the representative of the IHO. 해양과 바다의 경계 책자에 나타나게 되었습니다. 한국의 의사가 어, 거기에 전달되지 못한 상태에서 동해가 일본해로 이렇게 바뀌게 돼가지고 이것이 결국은 전 세계 지도를 제작하는 데 표준화되기 때문에 막 그런 점에서도 역사상 무연에서도 이것이 제고화되어야 되지 않느냐 이렇게 생각이 됩니다. 
The Limits of Oceans and Seas was first published in 1929 and revised twice in 1937 and 1953. Both the revised editions continued to use the name Sea of Japan. For this reason, Sea of Japan became the name used on many maps for more than 70 years. Fifty years have passed since the third edition was published, and the fourth edition is now underway. Now Korea has finally stood up to request that the name be corrected to the East Sea. Then how was the sea on the east coast of the Eurasian continent named on maps around the world before the IHO modification in 1919? According to the Japanese, the name Sea of Japan was used worldwide for over 200 years, being first used in Europe in the late 18th and early 19th centuries, long before Japan began to expand its territory. As evidence, Japanese scholars suggest that the great majority of old maps published around the world identified the sea as the Sea of Japan. Is this true? In 2002, the University of Southern California publicized their East Asian map collection on the Internet. This collection consisted of 165 old maps made worldwide between the 17th and 19th centuries. Most of the maps made in the 17th century did not indicate the names of oceans and seas. The names of seas begin to appear on maps beginning in the 18th century. Among the 18th century maps, 95 indicated the sea in question as the Sea of Korea, or Eastern Sea, while the name Sea of Japan is found only on one map. The name Sea of Japan is found on only nine of the 19th century maps. However, the name Sea of Korea is found 30 times. Among all 165 maps in the collection, 135 used Sea of Korea, or Oriental Sea, while only 10 used Sea of Japan. What can be implied from this? For the past five years, Korean scholars have investigated what names were used on old maps made in Western countries to identify the sea in question. In 1997, 61 maps held by the Cambridge University Library were examined to see how the sea was named. Over 50% named the sea Sea of Korea or Oriental Sea, whereas only three identified it as the Sea of Japan. Then, in 2001, the old western maps held by the British Library were examined. Among the many hundreds of maps there, 90 were newly discovered ones. 72 of these newly discovered maps used the name Sea of Korea, or Oriental Sea, and only 10 used Sea of Japan. These results differ from the claims of the Japanese scholars. Then, in 2003, the team investigated 515 rare maps held by the French National Library, which is reputed to have the most extensive collection of maps from the 18th century. Among them, 115 gave the sea a name. Out of them, 71 used Sea of Korea, or Oriental Sea, while only 22 used Sea of Japan. Similar results were found in the examination of the rare maps held by the U.S. Library of Congress. The names Sea of Korea and Oriental Sea appeared much more frequently than did Sea of Japan. According to the research, rare maps made in Western countries generally indicated the sea by the names Sea of Korea and Oriental Sea, rather than Sea of Japan. This is quite contrary to the claim of the Japanese scholars.